Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to talk about a common geometry problem. In such problems, they ask us to find the area that is colored. Here we have three circles. The radius of each of these three circles is two and we are going to find what is between these three circles. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem for a bit. Meanwhile, please consider subscribing to this channel and we will see you in 15 seconds. To solve this problem, we are going to start with making a triangle using the center of each of these circles. It's obvious that the triangle that we have is going to be equilateral, since each side of this triangle is going to be two times the radius of each circle. Now based on this, we are going to try to find what we have inside this shaded region. Before moving forward to talk about how to find the red area here, let's find the area that we have for this equilateral triangle. Since we know the side, we are going to use the equation that you are seeing here. Basically it says radical 3 times one of the sides to the power of 2 over 4. Here, the side length is 4 and we can use it and then the area of the triangle is going to be 4 times radical 3. Now we are going to focus to see how we can find the red area. As you can see, if we can find the yellow sector here, then it's going to be really easy to find the red area. What can we say about this yellow sector? First of all, we need to find what part of the circle includes inside this yellow sector. Since we have an equilateral triangle, the area that we have can be calculated as 60 over 360 times the area of the circle, which is pi times the radius of the circle to the power of 2. If we replace the radius, which is 2, we are going to end up with 4 over 6 times pi. Now that we know the area of the equilateral triangle, the sector, we can find the shaded region as the area of the triangle minus 3 times the area that we have for one sector. And the result is going to be 4 times radical 3 minus 2 times pi over 3. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, math involved activities and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please kindly subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel. Hope to see you in the next video.